Okay. Let us return to Eastpool. My dog was growling. What is it? Nothing good, I'll wager. Come on. What's wrong, doggo? To battle Imperials. You pay for this. All right, time to use my new abilities. What are you doing here? Answer me. Ooh. <laughs> that was cool. No limit break yet. That's pretty fun ability. Okay, time to try out Garuda's new ability. But I guess I should wait till there's more enemies. More enemies. Thought you could escape us, did you, Branded? You were born a slave, and you'll die. Ooh. <laughs> that looks funny. Damn, that actually goes on for quite a bit. Go berserk mode. I like that attack. Oh damn, more enemies.
Damn, that sucks though for the villagers. Oh, we got a big boy. The bearers and those who sheltered them. By Empress Annabella's command. Big boy, here we go. Oh, there's even here. Take my tornado. Now you die. Enemy slain. Spoils. Any good spoils? Just crafting material. The usual. Man, that sucks. You deserved so much better. All of these people did. Better than my mother. Gav! Clive! Acting on the orders of the Duchess, eh? We knew East Pole was harboring bearers. Thought they were safe enough hidden up here, but someone must have let slip. If they'd have only come to us sooner, none of this would have had to happen. Fuck! My mother always did despise bearers. The way father embraced them when the other nations spat on them as slaves. The way an accident of birth gave them a power that others lacked. But why kill everyone? They meant no harm. They just wanted to be free. This world judges that a crime punishable by death. Which is why we're going to change it. Gav, we want to help. Thought you'd got your own stuff to be getting on with. We do. But it can wait. In that case, we should head back and tell Sid you've had a change of heart. 
He was always on it yet to join us. All right. And we'd best be quick. Last I heard, he was planning another excursion. What about the villagers? Oi! Can I leave you's lot to take care of things here? Of course. We'll make sure they get a proper burial. Thank you. All of you. When you're ready, then. Man. Very unfortunate. Oh. Is this a traitor? Looks like it. Lord Kuka's message for your leader. If only he knew where to send it. <laughs> oh boy. Back to the hideaway. Writing wrongs. To sit solo, then. We have a lot to discuss. I heard Otto barking at his lap. And any weaponry? Well, the Sangfordian deer. Damn. Everything's still lower than what I got. Okay. Running, or we can walk through this door. Um, yes, that's what I was planning on. This place is getting more crowded by the day. I tell myself the bustle's a blessing, there'll be time enough for quiet contemplation when I'm dead. So, did you find the answers you were looking for? I still don't know what to make of this gift, curse, or whatever it is I've been given. But there is one thing I can say for certain. I am a dominant, Ifrit. And there is nothing I can do to change that. It is a burden I must bear until my dying day. <laughs> Spoken true. Forgiveness and in turn salvation can only begin with acceptance. It's a path we all must walk, no matter how colorful our histories. Sid, you once told me that you wanted to build a place where people could die on their own terms. I did. I've been thinking about that. Why not a place where people can live on their own terms? For 13 years, killing was all I knew. So obsessed with death that I never stopped to consider the lives of those around me. Lives that I see now were scarcely worth living. Be they bearers or beggars, most but march blindly to their end, never realizing that they too deserve a choice. And I dare not turn a blind eye to their suffering any longer. So, atonement then, is it? That was the answer we found. The only one we need. I'll be expecting you both to pull your weight. And we will. <laughs> well then. With a sprinkle of fire and ice, this plan of mine might just work. 
<laughs> what trouble are you looking to get yourself into now? The best kind. We're going to sneak into the Imperial capital and pay a visit to Mother. Nice. Earlier, huh? That's nice scenery. That ice in the background. <laughs> the white worm layer. And the last of our farmholds in the eastern provinces has succumbed to the blight. Without their yield, we will be hard pressed to fill the capital's granaries before winter. If there is a capital by then, the black creeps closer as we speak. And yet you do naught but ball and bluster. Your radiance? If it is fertile land the Empire requires, we need but look south. Look at this king, man. Crystalline dominions holdings. We are bound by mutual accord. Theirs is a neutral state whose borders we are sworn to respect. Gentlemen, did we swear to see our people starve? Well, I really do think that. Kings get some cool drip. The gates of Oriflam buckle at the flood of those come seeking refuge from the blight. If there is not grain enough to feed those within our walls, how, pray tell, will we feed those without? But instead of setting your minds to riddles such as these, you lock horns with an enemy from across the sea, sending our soldiers to the slaughter in their thousands. The Empire bleeds, and you sit here prattling like crones in a tea house. <laughs> and you fancy yourselves leaders of men. Wreck is naught without her citizens. We are but their servants. If their land is being wrested away, it is our duty to claim new lands for them. Your radiance! You cannot mean a war of conquest. That is exactly what I mean. It is time we expanded our dominion. This is the will of great Grieger. <laughs> there will be uproar. Then we must find a way to distract the citizenry. But how much will that cost? And what of our legions? Shall we raise the furs? Well, someone will have to contend with the Dalmex. I will not keep you. You all have much to do. I admit that throne that he's sitting on does not look comfortable. It looks rock solid. <laughs> Where is my son? The Lord Prince is currently garrisoned at the Strait of Ortha. If it please you, I can send word requesting his immediate return to the Holy Capital. That won't be necessary. Tell him instead to see to his wounds. Bahamut's strength will be needed again soon. As you command. I must have misheard. You mean to tell me that the Mother Crystals are the reason the world is dying? Are you mad? I have been called that on occasion, but no, not today. We've all seen it firsthand. Empty wastes where once were green meadows. Land drained so dry of its ether, not even the rats remained. But where was it all going? 
I spent years searching for an answer until I saw it standing right in front of me. There, in the self-same crystals, we look to for their so-called blessing. All right, listen. Take this crystal. How does it allow us to conjure magics? Answer, by drawing ambient ether from the air. And where do these crystals come from? That's easy. They're mine from the mother crystals. They're one and the same. Although, admittedly, this ear fits more easily in the pocket. But the mother crystals are massive. Some as large as mountains. So you see the problem. Imagine just how much ether can be drawn by something that size. As to where it's all going, mind, well... I can't know everything, can I? We are taught that the mother crystals are divine. Their ether a gift from the heavens. For centuries, nations have fought and fallen for want of that gift. If what you say is true, how did no one else see it? Who says they didn't? Maybe the truth was inconvenient. Inconvenient to whom, exactly? Higher-ups? The gods themselves? <sighs> so now you want to do something about the crystals? And what? We're not helping bearers and dominance anymore. I didn't say that. I made a promise and I intend to keep it. But if we continue down this path, there's only one fate that awaits the realm. And we can't very well set our people free if they're all lying dead in a blighted ditch. Not if we want to create a place where they can live on their own terms anyway. Sort of defeats the purpose. So, if we have to bring the old world crashing down in order to build us a new one, what say you? Are you with me? I'm with you. I suppose it's about time I repaid your faith. <laughs> you could have just said I. But it's nice to have you aboard all the same. <laughs> for this I guess so new items Don't mind me. Just a, quick... a new crafting recipe ah I might as well check if there's a new crafting I see I'm busy here what's that for you do oh flame tongue So just the weapon is stronger, okay. 180. Anything else? Hold on, what was my uh my uh There we go. Invictus. Okay, that's what it was. Okay. Well, so would it be a flame tongue? No scratches, right? Nice. Anything else? Actually, I see I'm busy here, but I ain't the cook, am I? Look. Call it a marriage of convenience. You got anything needs repairing? 
Okay. Oops. Nan. So what God's forsaken corner of the realm is Sid dragging you off to this time? Oriflam. The holy capital. And what business would you lot having? On second thoughts, I don't want to know. Um. Purchase. But I just sell. Yeah, what I have on is still the best. You'll not find a better price than that. Sell my Invictus. I'll be thankful you got that much. Speaking of Oriflam. I hear the trading routes leading south have seen more than double the usual traffic. If you ask me, some at Fowl's Brewing, and it ain't tires bore bile tea. Oh, just go and see Otto, will ya? All right. All right, all right. Clive, was it? I heard Otto barking at his lot earlier. So you're really going through with it? Sid's been talking about bringing down a mother crystal since I've known him. But that's all it's ever been. Talk. He's convinced it's the right thing to do. We'll be leaving for the capital shortly. <sighs> well, you couldn't have picked a better moment. Seems the hide in the Royalist gave him wasn't enough to dampen old Sylvester's spirits. His legions are on the march again. This time, do you serve? Another war. All as the great Grieger wills it. Bloodthirsty little miss, that one. That's God's for you, innit? Still, might work to our advantage on this occasion. Wars breed chaos. On the front lines, and at home. With mm -hmm. a fair wind behind them, a handful of like-minded ne'er-do-wells could melt into the back alleys of Oriflam. No trouble. Is making it to the capital that's the problem. The checkpoint. That's right. Anyone travelling in or out of Oriflam has to go through Northreach. Lucky for you, I might just know of a way. This. Well, no, not that. That gets <laughs> you an audience with the Dame. And it's the Dame who'll see you safely through Northreach. I'll send a stylus in the morning. Let her know you're coming. We go way back. And she's a true friend of the cause. I'm sure you'll get on like a house on fire. <laughs> That's good of you, but... Who is this dame, and where will I find her? She's the proud proprietress of Northreach's foremost house of ill repute. The Vale. What? And she's quite <laughs> a woman, if you know what I mean. A woman. Right. Right. Don't go blind, you know, with your charm now, lad. I'll be expecting a full report when you get back. Does he say it like that? <laughs> Alliant reports? Okay. I suppose that's everything. Now to find Gav. I guess we'll see what this is about. Oh, you goat at your service. Well, at the hideaway service anyway. Gout. Otto's put me in charge of reading through the reports sent in by our allies and picking out any problems that might warrant the attention of the curse breakers. Or any other willing volunteers. And there's no shortage of problems, I can tell you. <laughs> or, or maybe I don't have to. I'll warrant a strap in. He snorts, huh? People begging him for help wherever you go. Anyway, if you're ever interested in taking a look over the list, just say the word. 
Reckon you could probably tick off the odd thing here and there. They say little acts of kindness are their own reward. But if that ain't enough, these have got proper bounties on them and all. Okay, let's check him out. Uh huh. Seen enough? Yes, I have. Not interested in side quests. But maybe after I beat the game. Well, 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 someone's in a hurry. Just following orders. Funny, I never took you for the type. Can't all be as obedient as you, Gav. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Fine day for a little mischief, wouldn't you say? Is this all of us? Actually, Gav won't be coming. Just the three of us, then? Drake said is the keystone of the Empire. Oriflam's in chaos, yes, but that doesn't mean we can march an army through her gates. The fewer our numbers, the better our chances of going unnoticed. And should that plan fail, well, we have our icons to fall back on. See, I, I don't know if I can. If Reed still seems to come and go as he pleases. Ordinarily, Prime and Icon comes naturally to a dominance. But then, you are no ordinary dominance. Well, he's still got the blessing of the Phoenix, doesn't he? Not to mention what he sucked out the Garuda. And, did I ever tell you about how he was once the greatest shield in Rosaria? You know, I reckon he could probably cause a path out of the capital on his own if need be. Let's try not to find out. We're less likely to be spotted if we travel separately. I'll meet you in Northridge in a few days. You two behave now. Mm-hmm. <sighs> <sighs> Time to get into some action. So, we're meeting in Northridge. And will I find Sid and Jill before this dame finds me? But how did the grocer know his daughter had been sleeping on? Yeah, that's far. Is this the right way? Well, let's hope it is. Okay, maybe not. Master Quinty will never forgive me if I don't save that crow. Wasn't there a different road? Oh, church goer. Is it safe to ride to North Reach now? I wouldn't say safe. My doggo with me? Yes, he is. Ew, kill it. I like this new sword. It looks cool and it's very fitting for my current armor set. Ooh. 
Easy. I really paid attention to the effects when you switch. They're actually pretty cool. Chocobos. Time to feel the storm. Reach. <laughs> I like that attack a lot. I think I'm going to end up upgrading it. I go in or am I gonna get denied? Be gone! The gates for citizens, not so. Okay. The hey, a safe point. Oh. Uh. A moment, my lady. A moment. <laughs> I doubt you could afford even that much of my time. Branded. My mistake. No, mine. Upon reflection, you don't have the scent of a branded about you. The flowers. Otto always did know how to please me. More than Sid ever did anyway. Do you think you could please me, Clive? I guess I found her. Let us leave such impersonal titles to my less preferred clientele. You can call me Isabel. Otto assured me I could trust you. I can trust you, can't I? You can trust me, yes, but... Why would you... Help you? Because that's what we do. Long ago, Sid did me a kindness when no one else would. I have never forgotten that. Without it, I would not be where I am today. And so, 
I make it a point to do the same whenever possible. Which brings us here. To the final obstacle between you and whatever it is you seek in the holy capital. I fear the guards are not likely to let a masterless bearer pass unmolested. Unless... Unless... <laughs> Unless, of course, his master deigned to appear. Yes, that will do nicely. But... I shall expect a favor in return. Wait, what? Oh boy. You say these are all from Dalmechia? Are you gonna buy something or not? What the hell are you doing? Tut tut. We cannot have people thinking I tolerate disobedience from my branded. The men who gave me this are no more my masters than you are. But... It's not as if I can hide it. From the moment you acquired it, that brand has done naught but take. But today, it is going to give you exactly what you want. Just play along. Madame, back to the Vale already? But of course, we must make ready to welcome you, my dear. And who might this be? Why, my new escort. The streets aren't safe for a girl, what with all the royalists about. <laughs> well, don't work him too hard. Well, that rather depends on you now, doesn't it? I'll see you all at sunset. Oi, hold up. Yes. Another fucking branded. Well, you're lucky you're with the dame. Now get out of my sight, filth. <laughs> the prejudice is strong in this world. That wasn't so bad. Wasn't so bad. They might have recognized me. But they didn't. And even if they had, they wouldn't have done anything about it. The gentlemen of the garrison are some of my best customers. We have an arrangement. As do you and I. Now, if you'd care to follow me, we can speak more at the Vale. Doesn't seem like I have much of a choice. I oh, mean, I haven't seen you around the bay of late. And if anyone requests her company, tell them she is feeling unwell. Madame, you look stunning. As do you, my dear. Shall I have one of the girls draw a bath? That won't be necessary. Clive, my darling. Welcome to the Vale. The Vale. A brothel. Nice. Thank you for seeing me through the gates, my lady. I am in your debt. Well, that was the whole point, wasn't it? And I told you, it's Isabel. Whatever wound you so tight, I wonder? It's certainly not Sid's influence. You, uh, mentioned a favor. What is it you'd have me do? I don't want to keep my companions waiting. If you mean Sid and the girl, you needn't worry. They have yet to reach the checkpoint. Yes, Otto asked me to help them as well. But to answer your question, I need you to find someone for me. 
one of my girls. Uh -oh. Tatiana has been gone for several days now, having left no word of explanation. And I've begun to fear the worst. I feel as if I've spent my whole life searching for people. Though I can't say I'm any good at it. I trust you'll do your best. Oh, and take this. The moon and stars? Proof of that trust. And hopefully enough to keep prying eyes from looking too closely at that handsome face of yours. Now, I have matters to attend to at the Iron Flagon. If you find anything, ask for me there. Okay. I should probably start here. I guess so. Okay.